Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Long time no see. Um, so a lot's happened since I last posted, which I think was three months ago, possibly a bit longer. In fact, it must have been much longer. You were probably expecting a vlog from the European Games, which I never managed to do, and World Championships probably. I think there was another few competitions in there, but honestly life just got very, very busy and I just really struggled to, to vlog when it's like that. So apologies, but there's not really much from that. Um, I will go into details and stuff obviously of performances and things um, probably in another video but yeah um, things have been quite busy I suppose um, and I have to start with uh, possibly the coolest thing that uh, might ever happen to me. A company that I already shop at um, got in touch with me and asked if they could do a collaboration for a YouTube video um, which is super super cool to me and I can't believe it's actually happened so thank you so much to them. It's, it's really cool and um, so it's Ana Luisa is a jewellery company in New York and they got in touch and asked if they could uh, send me some pieces and if I could like talk about them which honestly to me was like super exciting because I actually already wear Ana Luisa pieces so I think I've talked a wee bit more about my like necklace stack before but um, I've got like this little one is like a Pisces and then my little S for Shona are actually from Ana Luisa already um, but they asked if they could send me some other pieces as well and um, so I have some new and a little haul here um, to share with you guys so yeah they come in these like cute little green pouches which are great they're like 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 fabricy um, and they've got these like little magnetic poppers and they're great for like taking jewelry abroad, abroad and stuff so I've got a really cute pair of like sort of squabble hoops um, which I thought were super cute a I think there was like three pairs of earrings I got. Um, yeah, these like cool earrings, they're like spirals. And um, so when you put them in, they look like you're wearing two pairs of earrings, which I love because uh, my ears are really difficult with earrings sometimes. The, oh no, I'll show you that one next because that one's exciting. <laughs> uh, these really nice like hoops um, that I just think are really nice. Um, so I'm excited to wear all of these. Um, and then yeah, the last thing I got was another necklace, a, a letter necklace to go with my S um, and it's a little G for Grant. So you guys know that I've been wearing these for like what, two, three years now and they're still like super good quality. Like there's no tarnishing or anything on them, which is awesome. And then these earrings that I wear, um, I normally wear this one here, um, but these little ones, um, which are cool, are already from Ana Luisa as well. And again, like there's no tarnishing um you've seen them you'll have seen them in tons of the fine if you watch any of the finals that i'm in um you get close-ups of them all the time and yet i just think like the qualities are great i've bought earring like <laughs> i had an obsession with buying jewelry for a while and so i've bought a lot of earrings especially when i was like in my curated ear phase but some of them were just like so tatty i guess like after a few wears they get really like especially the bit that goes through your ear, they were like worn and like they would leave your ears like black or whatever, which is just like not great. But the Ana Luisa ones are great. They're still gold. Like these are the ones I've been wearing for years. Um, and like, yeah, I, I did not polish these. Um, they're still gold. They're still clean. They're great. So it's just awesome. The shipping's like super fast. If you're in the US, they've got free shipping. Um, I think it's like next day. Um, but to here, it was like two days or something from New York, which is super cool. And yeah, I just like, I just think they're really nice quality and stuff. And, and I don't know, like you can't really get, I looked for an S necklace for ages and I just like didn't like any of the ones I found. And then I've been looking for a G one to go along with it for, for ages as well. But I just didn't like any of the ones I saw. They were all quite like, I don't know, like low quality or something. All the like nice quality brands are either like hundreds of pounds or they're like, yeah, they're literally they're like 20 quid and they last like two days. But yeah, this stuff's like, it's not the cheapest, cheapest. Um, like it's still fairly expensive, at least for the jewelry that I've bought before. It's probably at the higher end of stuff that I've bought, but I don't own like diamonds and pearls and stuff like that. But it's not gonna, it doesn't like break my piggy bank. Um, like I've got, what was that? Like three or four pieces already that I bought myself and before I got these ones. So yeah, like I don't, I don't think they're, too expensive for what they are like the quality is great for the price that you get and um, so yeah no I just 
I'm so excited. I honestly can't tell you how cool it is to have like somebody come to you with a collaboration and for it to be just something that you already use. I think that's so cool. Like I definitely, when I started doing these vlogs, I wanted to be like authentic and I wanted to, to like, I didn't want to like sell my soul or whatever to make it on YouTube. But at the same time, like you do these collaborations in order to like get more followers and like make grow an audience and stuff like that. But yeah, like I definitely still want to stick to that authenticity and be myself and I'm not going to work with brands that I don't like actually think are good um, or anything like that. So if you ever see me doing stuff like this, it's because I either use the stuff before or I think it's a great idea. Just like Dead Keen that they got in touch. I just think it's so cool. So thank you, Anna Lisa. And if you guys are interested in, in getting anything, I've got a link. It's down in my description below. So you guys can have a shop and have a look. So yeah, it's so exciting. Um, so yeah, a lot's happened. Some of you, especially those of you who follow me on Instagram, the last thing you will have seen is that uh, I went in for surgery. I'm going to do a whole nother video about the surgery and stuff because um, there was quite a lot about it. Like I just didn't really like didn't really know it was going to be a thing or anything so I'm going to do a whole nother video about it but um, just to answer everybody's questions there's a few different health issues I have I, I think I've already talked to you about my arthritis I also have Crohn's disease which is something that affects the digestive system that I've had trouble with on and off for the last like few years this year's been well last year was quite bad and then into this year's been very like up and down and I've been dealing an awful lot with that and there's been some investigations and stuff on that side of things so uh, one of the problems I had for European games is this uh, this Crohn's problem that I've been having. I've been very, very bloated on and off this year, but up to the point where I like I can't get rid of it um, myself. So uh, I've been struggling a lot with like the fit of my, my shooting jacket and, and the trousers. And when your muscles get stretched, so like my, my abdominal muscles are stretched over this bloating, when that's chronic, the muscles adapt um, and they lengthen but in the process of them lengthening, they get weaker. So when that bloating went down, when I had the treatment and the bloating went down, my muscles were still quite long and, and still quite, I, I describe it as flabby. So I really struggled. At European Games was kind of where it kind of came to a head. I just really struggled with where my body was in space, but also my shooting jacket was no longer, like it had been kind of sitting on top of a belly and kind of like fitted quite tightly but when the when the tummy went down suddenly the jacket was like hanging off my shoulders which it hadn't been for the rest of the year and it just changed the feel of the shoulder and where the butt plate sat especially an air rifle so I just I really struggled with that and I find it very frustrating because obviously my air rifle had been going really well for the rest of the year so that was um, very much frustrating. Some of the symptoms came back and we adjusted the jacket a wee bit and, and it got better after that and then world championships was really just we're calling it the almost championships, I suppose. I was only a couple of points, not even a couple of points, I think, away from the final in the air rifle. Yeah, so I was I was just extremely disappointed with the way the air rifle went. I guess, like, I don't know how it is in some of the other countries, but here the, the rules have changed in terms of how funding's managed. So all of our funding is gets decided based on results at World Championships or Olympics. Obviously, there's no Olympics this year, so it was all on that World Championships. So nothing else I'd done in the rest of the year would count towards um, funding. So I was very, very like nervous and I was uh, very like stressed about whether or not I was going to be able to increase my funding or even maintain the level that I was at. And I think that I let all, a lot of that just get in my head and stuff for that performance at World Champs and I didn't perform as well as I'd hoped. And yeah, I guess I just kind of was really disappointed with the outcome. To not even make the final, given the year I've had, I was just super disappointed. The three P is a different kettle of fish. I shot a British record in the in the uh, elimination round, which I was really happy with. Really happy with the performance back. It was a hard range to shoot on, very windy, but it went well. And then during the qualification, I had a uh, I don't really know fully what happened. Some I'm sure a lot of you will have seen. I shot four. And I ended up two points off the final. Um, so even if I'd managed to shoot a six, I might have made it in. But it, it kind of felt like like it was very, very hot. And it kind of just felt like the jacket, there was like a crease in the jacket, which there's tons of creases in the, in the suits. But it kind of just felt like it was one that just gave way because I just felt like I bag marked with blames or tools. I've heard it all before. But yeah, it just kind of felt like the whole the whole front side just collapsed as I pulled the trigger. And, I saw the gun flew off to the side as I pulled it, 
I thought I'd missed the target, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it came up as a four and I kind of, I knew at that point, like I'd, I'd only dropped, I think one, yeah, one point off of the uh, prone and kneeling. And um, so I knew I still had a, a shot of getting through with with good standing, even with the four. So I just did my best to, to try and uh, not drop too many, too many more. But like I, I was running out of time by that point. And like I say, back is a windy range. The wind was picking up towards the end. I didn't shoot fast enough to have managed that and just just didn't make it into didn't make it um towards the end so yes the four was a bad shot um and if it had been a six I might have made it through but equally well I dropped quite a few um nines after that so I could have picked those two points up in in quite a few places the four would be the obvious place to pick them up but yeah it wasn't it wasn't as simple as don't shoot the four although I guess you could look at it that way all in all in terms of Olympic events not not the best at world champs the rest of them were all just the same, to be honest. Close, but not got not, not good enough, which is frustrating, but it happens. And I guess all we can do is try and learn from this before next year. But the surgery was actually, it was a laparoscopy to have a look for endometriosis, which is a disease that kind of affects lots of women. It's kind of when the lining of your womb starts to grow on the, on the outside of your womb, but like still inside your pelvic cavity. So it's it's like a little keyhole surgery called a laparoscopy where they make a little incision just below your belly button and put a camera in and have a look around. And if they see anything, they kind of like scoop out and I think they cauterize some of it maybe um, to, to get it out. So I don't have endometriosis, which is great. They didn't find any signs of that. They did find something called retrograde menstruation, which they think might be a precursor to endometriosis. The I guess the kind of medical field's not 100% clear on that yet. But they did find that and they basically I had a lot of blood in the pelvic cavity that shouldn't have been there. So they kind of like sucked it all out and then put me on a treatment for that so that hopefully that will go away. But it will take about three to six months for the symptoms to go away. But yeah, I guess uh, I'll, I'll do like a whole other video about the surgery and things. I know there's probably quite a lot of them. Um, like I went to have a look for other people who've maybe done a, a similar video um, and there's lots of there's lots of ones in America, but I guess the American health system is quite different to the British one, so I don't know if it's maybe of interest um, for British people, so I'll do I'll do a video, video and hopefully that'll be helpful for other people. But yeah, so that's that's kind of what I've been up to the last, uh, and since the World Championships, I had the surgery fairly quickly after that, and then I've been in recovery since then. I've moved house as well, so that took up quite an awful lot of time. But other than that, I've been on a break from shooting, recovering from surgery and moving house, and that's really been it. I go back to training the week after next and we head to Qatar for the World Cup final, which should be exciting. Um, I've never been to Qatar before. I don't know what to expect. As a woman, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have uh, a headscarf on or what. I, I guess I need to have a find out what the rules are. But yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to, to go and I'm, I'm dead keen to get back to shooting, which is nice. So yeah, it's ex exciting times. So... Yeah, that's kind of a roundup of what's happened over the last few months. Quite a lot, but not a lot at the same time, I suppose. But yeah, don't forget, if you're interested at all in Anna Luisa, there's a discount code down in the description box. I Honestly, I think it's so cool. I'm so excited. I was like bouncing around the room when, when I got that email. So I think it's super awesome. And thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for reaching out. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye.